Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel with season 6 being upon us and having a brand new season 6 battle pass people are going to be wondering on how we can go ahead and get it all completed very quickly now there's a lot of skins that you guys can go ahead and unlock and there is also the absolutely filthy DTIR 3006 which is the brand new battle rifle that you guys can go ahead and unlock in season 6 battle pass now this is a two shot kill one shot kill at times and it is is very overpowered with pretty much no recall whatsoever so if you guys are dying all the time to this and you want to go ahead and unlock it as fast as you can as well as completing the season 6 battle pass then you definitely want to stay tuned all the way till the end of this video there's a lot to get through so definitely sit back relax and enjoy today's video if you do feel free to subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss a single video and definitely go ahead and drop a like on today's video that'd be very much appreciated now just a quick shout out from one of my partners control freak if you want to improve your aim in game and hit your accuracy and get those kills a lot easier you can actually get yourself some control freaks and use the code floppy penguin to get yourself a cheeky little discount at checkout i will leave a link down below for you guys to go check them out so in terms of the season six battle pass then guys there is a lot we can go ahead and unlock like i said there is the overpowered weapon of the dti r3006 the brand new battle rifle that people will be interested in getting we also got a lot of things we can unlock instant rewards obviously we do get michael myers and there's a lot of rewards you can get throughout the battle pass that look pretty cool in terms of operator skins and also some weapon camos as well now there's a few different ways you guys can go ahead and unlock all these sectors in the battle pass and get as much tokens as you possibly can now this is all down to xp and time played obviously the more time you play in game the more xp you're going to gain for your battle pass now the biggest factor of this weekend so far is we have got double xp on all things so double xp double weapon xp XP and also double battle pass XP as well now this is actually going to go ahead and help you unlock everything a lot quicker and earn that XP to get to the max level and max out your battle pass as quick as possible so it is a very very good start that we have all got in terms of leveling up really quickly now throughout the course of the battle pass you will get yourself some more double XP tokens that you can use for the battle pass weapon XP and yourself as well so you definitely want to go ahead and make sure you're grinding along this way and we have a lot of brand new game modes to help you do this now with season six we've like i said we've got some brand new game modes and some brand new maps now we do have the small map mosh pit playlist which i would highly recommend playing you want to play the smaller maps where you can get higher xp quicker if you get on likes of the shipmas rust anything like that where it's got the game mode of hard point or anything in terms of kill confirmed domination something that you're going to rack up a lot of xp yes you're going to get through the game quicker however you're going to be able to move through games a lot quicker and get a lot of XP. The amount of XP you'll get in one of these games is probably the same amount as if you played a standard hard point game on, let's say, Favela. So this is something you guys definitely want to take advantage of. Currently in the small map mosh pit, we do have Yard, Doss House, Emergency, Stash House, Ink House, Roast, Toon Oxide, Cell Ship, Shipmas, Shoot House, Meat, Mad Cow, and they are all we have got. Now, currently we do have a Ghost Ship 24-7 playlist. This is a reskin of Shipman for the Haunting Event. It is a very cool looking map in all fairness but by playing this you're going to be guaranteed to play every single game because we are going to be playing it 24 7 hence go ship 24 7 but you want to make sure you are playing the game modes of hard point kill confirm domination they are going to be your ideal game modes to rack up as much xp as you possibly can we've also got drive through 24 7 as well now this is a brand new map that dropped with season six you can actually go ahead and play this as well as it is a small enough map to rack up as much xp once again you want to be targeting those kind of game modes that are going to maximize your weapon xp now whilst you are doing this i would highly recommend throwing yourself some decoy grenades about this will help get some additional xp and i'll also recommend you rocking anything like of uavs counter uavs or advanced uavs now any of these things that are going to help get you any additional assist xp is going to help towards ranking up your battle pass fast now if you think about it if a teammate is getting a kill whilst you've got one of them up there in the air you're going to get an additional 20 percent xp each time and another thing I highly recommend is playing with friends. Now, whatever game mode, if you're playing multiplayer, Warzone, it doesn't matter as long as you're playing with friends that are in the same party, especially. So if you go ahead and play with other PlayStation players, so if some of your friends do have PlayStation and you're a PlayStation player yourself, by partying up, you will get an additional XP boost for all your weapon battle pass and yourself's XP. So you'll be able to get yourself an additional boost on top of the double XP as well. So this is going to help you rank up a lot quicker. So I would recommend playing those smaller mosh pits those 
those smaller maps and playing like say likes of hardpoint etc now in terms of zombies i don't really play zombies at all but going off experience when i played it at the beginning at the start of modern warfare 3 by completing all of your missions and going through all the contracts that you can do throughout zombies you're gonna rack up a lot of xp and just make sure you exfil at the end uh, so you can actually maximize as much xp as you possibly can but let's jump into warzone now there's a few different modes that you can go ahead and play currently in terms of warzone so the best bet is always going to be plunder plunder has been one of the absolute goats for many years now for ranking up yourself weapons and also your battle pass obviously plunder is a respawn game mode so you are going to keep respawning in multiple times and what you want to find yourself doing is trying to get as much cash as you possibly can so you're best off dropping in an area that's got a low flight zone and there's probably not going to be many people dropping there and try and open as much chests as much tills find as much cash as you possibly can as you want to get the dub of having the most cash obviously so then you can get the additional bonus now whilst you are doing this as well guys you want to make sure you are completing as many contracts as possible whether that's being a bounty contract or any of the others that are available to yourself in the game make sure you are completing them and once again if you are partnering up with other playstation players if you're a playstation player yourself you will get the additional xp as well once again rocking likes of decoy grenades and stuff like that is definitely going to be very useful in this but we do also have some other game modes you guys can take advantage of and by completing contracts on them they're going to help completely as well due to them being respawn game modes so we've got zombie royale hell spawn and we've also got purgatory obviously with the hell spawn once you die you become a zombie uh, so you just want to get as many kills whilst you are a zombie that will help towards your xp as well obviously the longer in your games of a war zone and the more xp and the more cash you're earning let's say in plunder uh, the higher chance of getting your rewards for your battle pass a lot quicker now a final major thing i would highly recommend you guys doing whilst playing this game whether you're playing warzone zombies or playing multiplayer is we actually get nine daily challenges we can complete and we also get seven weekly challenges you com can complete as well now whilst you are completing these in game currently you're going to be getting double xp as it stands with the double xp weekend events on so for example if you are completing a challenge that has 7500 xp you're going to be getting 15,000 xp instead now obviously this is all going to help towards your rank and also your battle pass so you want to make sure you are completing your nine daily and seven weekly challenges whilst they are available this is going to help you rank up a lot quicker and potentially in all honesty it is doable to rank up your battle pass in one week now if you've got any battle pass skip tokens that you have stashed up obviously take advantage of them and make sure you are using them but that is pretty much everything you need to be doing throughout the course of season six to so make sure you are unlocking everything as quick as you possibly can as we have got black ops 6 around the corner so you don't want to leave this and never have completed it so you definitely want to go ahead and complete it plus the more cop points you get they all transfer over to black ops 6 ready for your brand new battle pass over there as i believe they are going to be continuing even though we're still going to be getting your standard prestige system but anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in if you found it useful drop a like and like i said if you are new around here make sure you have subscribed and notifications on as this is the best place for all things call of duty but thank you so much for tuning in as always i'll catch you on the next video